the Mika Mika Me template is not as popular or as wide seen as maybe the Bye Bye Kaiser and especially the Uka Uka U template, but it's really fun if you like to use status weapons. It's a mix of Camellia's parts and Kushala parts, so it doesn't look that different from the Kushala set if you compare the two. Now this set really grows depending on what type of charm you have, so I would say that this is a set that's worth making uh, for its potential. The water and ice resistance are very high, but the other ones are pretty bad. So this is really kind of geared towards Kushala fights and also Ukanlos. It's got a lot of slots, all of them double or triple except for the head, and you get earplugs and windproof low right out of the box. If you look because of the way we're mixing it, you're also very close to getting status attack. You're only three points off from handicraft, so you will need a charm in order to get this in. And we're also close to evasion, so again, we're very close to a lot of skills, but it depends on how you want to customize it. So here's one example that I did, and I don't have really good charms yet. So evasion plus two, high grade air plugs, status attack one, sharpness plus one, and windproof low. So this is a really nice set. With a proper charm, I could easily get evasion plus two and status attack plus two. So don't let my example here hold you back. I've seen some crazy sets depending on the charms. Now there's something to be said about adding high grade earplugs to a status plus two set. It really allows you to go ham on a monster when they're yelling, especially for Kushala, it really helps you get the poison in so that she's not uh, going crazy the entire time. One of the reasons why I said you need handicraft for the charm is because that three slot you're going to want to use for hearing so you can get the HG earplugs. So let's take a quick look at the type of parts that you need to make. There's only one really hard piece of armor to make and the rest are really easy. So the head which is Camellios doesn't take anything. I guess one hard horn might be considered a little hard by some people, but it's not so bad. The Camellia set I'll also add is actually really fun, so I suggest you make that full set as well. It's one of the few full sets that I think are good for just about any other fight. The Kushala parts are actually pretty basic, they don't require any rare parts either. But here it is, the arm does take one large Elder Dragon gem which you can get from Camellios, Teostra, um, or Kushala fights. It could take some time. Um, but if you're in G rank, you already know that that item is needed to make some good parts. The waist isn't that hard either. Uh, and same for the leg. So again, this is a really flexible status attack set because it has the sharpness, the earplugs, and the status attack. So I suggest you make it and play around with it and have a lot of fun. Happy hunting.